the next question is design NPDA that is non-deterministic PDA for the language L is equal to WWR where W belongs to A comma B the old star and WR is nothing but the reverse of the string. So here in the previous example we had seen that we had something like this WC WR. So you would understand when the string would get completed and when the reverse of the string would get started. But in this example WWR you do not know when the string will stop and when the reverse of the string will start. Like for example in the string A B B B B A. So this is the string which is given in the question. So in this string A B B B B A what is happening? You are not getting to know when you have to start uh, when you have to uh, stop pushing the elements to the stack and when you have to start popping the element from the stack. So this is one such example where you cannot design PDA for this where you cannot design PDA for this why you cannot design the PDA for this in, in this it was clear in this it was clear for all W for all the string that belongs to W you will be pushing into the stack and when you encounter C you will see the reverse of the string and similar elements similar input elements you will be popping it out. So this was an example A B C B A. So if I take the same example A B B C B B A. So what will you do? You will push everything onto the stack say Z naught A B and B will be pushed onto the stack and when you encounter this C you will understand that you have to start popping. So B you will start popping this B same symbol pop it A same symbol pop it and end of the string you have reached the final stage end of the string you have reached the final state but here when should you st stop pushing the element when should you start popping the element is not showed here. So for this kind of languages you cannot design PDA push down automata but you can design NPDA. NPDA is nothing but non-deterministic push down automata. NPDA is nothing but non-deterministic push down automata. NPDA means which is a machine that is not practically possible which is a machine that is not practically possible. So what do you do? You just accept all A's and B's like you did in the previous example and for B you will start popping this, for B you will start popping this, for this A you will start popping this. So you will do this in the same state, you will do this in the same state. So whenever you feel that you as a human you will understand when the string W is completed, when the WR will start but your machine will not understand. So this is not a practically possible machine. This is not a practically possible machine. We will just look into the example. So this is not a practically possible language that can be designed that, that can be um, designed using PDA. So we will be designing it using non-deterministic PDA. So we will see the example. So we will start from the initial state Q0. So as I said the string is A B B B B A. So you because you are a human you have understood that this is the string W and this is the reverse of the string but you are computer or your any machine automated machine will not understand that. So we will just see how to design the NPDA for this. So NPDA for this. So A Z naught you will just push it onto the stack. So when you read B as the first input symbol that also should be accepted right. So B Z naught you will simply push it onto the stack. So what about what are other possibilities when you read A B can be in the stack and when you read B A can be in the stack 
A can be in the stack. Right? So, you need to accept those kind of strings as well. So, A is the input symbol. Either you can have A as the stack symbol or B as the stack symbol. What do you do? You just push it onto the stack. Either you can have A as the input symbol and A as the stack symbol or B as the stack symbol. You will see simply keep pushing that into the stack because you are accepting all W's. So, we will write one more possibility that is B is the input symbol and either A can be the stack symbol or B can be the stack symbol. So, what do you do? Again, you push that simply onto the stack. You push that simply onto the stack. Now, this string is completed. When you start reading the W or the reverse of the string, you need to start popping. You need to start popping but you will stay in the same state because it is not a practically possible machine. So, here when you encounter A, you will pop A itself. When you encounter B, you will pop B itself. So, you need to have same same symbols. A is the input symbol. A is the stack symbol. You will pop it. B is the input symbol. B is the stack symbol. You will pop it. So, you can see there are there are two transitions for the same input string and the same stack symbol. So, A is the input string, A is the stack symbol, you will push, you will perform push operation. A is the input string, A is the stack symbol, you will perform pop operation. Means for the same input symbol, same stack symbol, you can either push or pop. That is why it is not a practically possible machine. That is why we are designing non-deterministic PDA for this. So, AA pop it, BB pop it. So, we have completed the string. Now, we have reached the end of the string. So, when we reach end of the string, what should we do? You just go to the final state. Epsilon comma Z naught. You keep the stack as it is and reach final state q1 and reach final states q1 or else epsilon z0 epsilon you can either do it by this. This is nothing but empty stack method. Either you can use this transition or you can use this transition anything is fine. So, if you want to write the transition function for this. So, delta Q naught, A, Z naught, you will stay in the same state Q naught, A, A, Z naught, you will push it. Next, delta Q naught, B, Z naught, Q naught, B, Z naught. So, that is for these two transitions, A, Z naught, B, Z naught, you will push everything to the stack. So, next for these transitions, you will just push everything to the stack. This is for this transition. So, likewise, you can write it for the other transition as well. So, you have completed all these transitions. Next, you have one more transition, epsilon z0, z0. So, you will go to the final state by using the final state method. So, this is a transition function for the given n PDA, that is the non-deterministic PDA. Non-deterministic PDA. So, if you have to write the instantaneous description for the string a double b double b a, then you have to write start with q naught. So, a b b b a is the string and z naught is the top stack element. So, you know how to write it. So, transition q naught reads a z naught is the uh, stack element. So, as per this you will just push it onto the stack. So, q naught B, 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 A 
a z naught we'll just push it onto the stack next when you read b and q naught and a is the stack element so we'll just q naught b a is the stack element you will just push that onto the stack q naught reading b b is the stack symbol so here we have two transition for it so one is b b is the stack symbol you can either push it or pop it so you have two transitions for this b b is the input symbol q not you are in the current state and b is the stack symbol you have two operations push or pop push or pop you need to decide looking at the string you need to decide looking at the string now b only b a are there in the stack so if i pop this out this b goes away and the string will not match so what you what will you do you will push that b to the stack so looking at the string you will understand what is w and what would be w r so until w just push them into the stack so now as i said i'll just push this onto the stack q not stay in the same state remaining string is b b a and b b a is there in the stack as well now i see that w is bba wr is bba so i will start popping for the next transition so q not b is red b is red so according to this transition i will simply pop it same thing q not a a z not q not epsilon z not q not is reading epsilon now and z not so according to this transition you need to reach final state q1 and epsilon remains the same z not you will keep the stack as it is so you have reached the final state q1 so the string is accepted but this is npda non deterministic pda which you have designed thank you students